In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at Windows Server 2012 Data Deduplication. To install Data Deduplication, it's, as, it's installed as a feature on Windows Server 2008. So we simply go to Add Roles and Features and select the File and Storage Services role and in that you're going to want to select the data deduplication rule. Once that is installed, that's all you need and you can go ahead and deduplicate volumes on your server. However, what is important to note is that you cannot dedupe the C drive or boot volume. So on this server I have partitioned the disk into a C drive and an E drive and the volume you're going to dedupe is this E drive. As you can see I have used up uh, about 60 gigs of space and that 60 gigs of space on this E drive is currently used by six virtual machines roughly around 10 gigabytes in size. So here's my E drive and all the space is being used by six virtual machines that you see here. So what we want to do is to realize what disk savings we can have by performing data deduplication, software based dedupl deduplication that is provided by Windows Server 2012. So now that we've already installed our deduplication rule we right click and configure data deduplication. We want to enable data deduplication. I want to begin the process right away. So I'm going to set the number of these to become zero. You can select files and folders to be excluded from the process, the deduplication process, and you can also set a deduplication schedule, which automatically runs in the background by default. So I've just enabled it and we're going to select apply and OK. And we're not going to get any disk savings as yet. We see free space is still at 64.7 gigabytes. And if I run the command get dedupe volume, it says the savings rate is 0% on my E drive. And if I want to manually initiate the process of data deduplication, I can run this command start dedupe job volume E drive of type optimization. Press enter. Now, if you are doing this in a Hyper V environment, you would want to stop your virtual machines and then start the dedupe job. Now this is not recommended in a production environment for performance reason but I'm just using virtual disks to demonstrate this, the, the savings that you can achieve. So if you want to view the status of the dedupe job I can type get dedupe job and it's currently running. So you want to see this status showing up as you're running and it's going to take a couple hours to to run. What the duplication does, it looks at bits and bytes that are coming across all files in the volume in order to save space. So for example, you may have Office documents, several of different Office documents, PowerPoint files, Word files that are edited by various users and saved under different file names, but there's some common uh, data across all of those files. And this is where data duplication can really bring about a um, huge amount of disk savings. And with virtual machines, that you were, as you would know, if you have several virtual machines running the same operating system, then a significant amount of that of the data stored in those virtual hard drives 
would be common for example the operating system I have here six virtual machines running Windows Server 2012 and obviously there will be a lot of data that is common to all of these some of these machines are running different rules we have some of them that are running uh, Active Directory some of them is running uh, file services so we have different rules but yet still we have a number of files that are common to all of these virtual disks which would be the operating system files that will be deduped as this process is run so I'm going to come back at a later time and see how this has run and so the dedupe job has finally finished a couple probably less than an hour later and if you take a look at the dedupe volume status we will see that we have achieved as much as 90% savings rate on this drive so we've actually saved 48 gigabytes of space by performing Silver 2012 deduplication on our volume so let's take a look at the hard drive and you will see that now we have 111 gigabytes of free space out of uh, 117 if we go into this drive we will see we will see all the virtual machines still there and if we want we can go ahead and start up all the virtual machines and see if those disk savings remain now initially in Hyper-V the assigned memory to each server which is approximately 4 gigs will take up space on the hard drive on the volume E so some space is going to be allocated to the memory that is assigned to each virtual machine but it's not going to be a lot because I've configured all virtual machines to use dynamic memory so we'll see this 4 gigabyte of memory being reduced after the server has been powered up and running so all the nodes have been powered up and some of the nodes are still using 4 gigabytes of RAM but we still have a significant, significant amount of space savings the volume has reduced to about 100 gigabytes but we see that data deduplication data deduplication still has some disk savings here and to demonstrate we can stop these footer machines it's going to release the memory space that has been used of the volume and if you check now we get back our 90% almost disk savings by stopping the VMs and releasing the memory that has been used. So this ends our tutorial on this topic of data deduplication in Windows Server 2012.